Are you trying to keep track of inventory? You got a lot of different items that you're just trying to, where do I, how do I? Well, lucky for you, we have an inventory management template here at Softer that will knock your sockets off. And yes, I mean sockets, because is that a thing that you can keep inventory on? I don't know. But what I do know is that using this template makes things a lot easier when managing your inventory. And we're gonna dive into how it works and how you can use it and level up your inventory management inside of Softer. I'm gonna press use template here. and just get started by adding it to my data source. So press use template and then connect it to my Airtable by putting my API key within here, copying the base to my account, and then adding this base. Now the automatic data that's gonna be copied in is gonna be the different users with a couple different roles, one for admin and one for employee, and then product inventory, we'll just have an example list of all of these different products that you can have, including their price, what type of thing they are, the description, the barcode, how many units have been ordered, what their manufacturers are, which as you can see here is another table within this base. So Apple, Microsoft, classic huge companies. And then here's purchase orders, which literally just shows what days different orders have been made to those different products, what the price was based off formulas, when they're supposed to arrive by, everything that you're gonna need for managing inventory, right? That's, that's the point of the template, isn't it? But then by creating this application, after the Airtable base copies over, we'll go into your software application. Getting started here on the left, you can see the home page shows some of the items here at the top. By clicking in here, we can see that this is coming from the product inventory table that I showed you over here. And this is set to the first three and it's sorted by the amount of units sold. So from the, the most amount of units ordered to the least from an inventory standpoint, this makes sense. And then below that we have a couple other things. So I'm gonna publish this and poke around in the template to show you exactly how it works. So first of all, we have the option once we kick off the app to sign up or sign in. I'm gonna, for example, sign up with my own account. Just put my name, email, and then maybe a little test password. You don't know what it is. I didn't just write password. And now we can see that I can take a look at this homepage. And if I click on one of these different inventory items, we'll see the item details, which is gonna be coming from all these different fields here. So I know now what the different units sold are, what the ordered units are, as well as we can link out to the manufacturers. So for example, this Apple Watch Series 4, we click on this, we would then go into the manufacturer and we could actually add a new product. So the whole seamless nature of going between product and then manufacturer and adding new products is, is very simple. This is a form that will allow you to add things like an additional product. And if we take a look at this, we'll see that from a user standpoint, I was added here. You can see within here though that I don't have a role. So let's make myself an admin so that I can see more within this template because how it is currently structured, clicking on the home header, you can see that from a visibility standpoint, you need logged in users. And then you also, from a visibility standpoint for this, need a logged in users too. The only public one is the login and sign up ones right here. So now, for example, if I were to go back in and be an admin, I'll be able to see some of these things. Yep, so now that I'm a logged in user, I can see this nav bar. And at the top here, as a admin, I can actually add manufacturers as well. So this is a form that would allow me to input different manufacturing names. So for example, if I were to put the best product <laughs> manufacturer, say the location was in amazing place at awesome street and it was you know i was the manufacturer because i'm so cool at manufacturing and if i put my really real phone number at 555 555 55 55 add manufacturer and you can see that when we go to manufacturers now the best manufacturer is within here and as mentioned previously we can add new products within this page as well now, how is that set up exactly? That is set up so that if we go to the add manufacturer page, there is a form. Now this form sends the data to the data source and maps to the different fields like manufacturer name, the image, location, and very simply, you can adjust the 
fields and what the form says so that you can add the manufacturers. And then within the manufacturer page over here, not only can we just see everything, but we could also have it filter to things like location or we can sort it differently. I personally don't wanna see more than like 10 of these at a time. So if I were to do that and then change it to, you know, filter to something more specific, we can go to the publish page, see exactly what I'm talking about. Let's pretend like these manufacturers we didn't really like how many we were seeing. So now I'd have to press see more to see more than 10. And also we can filter by location. So let's say it's in San Francisco. Then we just have Apple Voice here. If we wanted to do San Jose, we just see Samsung. I personally like this as it kind of segments, you know, where the manufacturers are located. And when it comes to inventory and products, that matters. And then within the manufacturer details page, this once again has another form that can map to your data source. And it's very straightforward and connects to the different fields. The one thing to note is that there's a hidden field here that then just forces it to map to the manufacturer it's within. So there's no issues on inputting data there and it not mapping correctly. So you can add new products within the manufacturer, which will have an auto map, or you can go to the add product page. I would recommend that you add new products in the manufacturer page because there's not gonna be any sort of mapping issues and it makes a very seamless creation experience there. And when it comes to tracking actual orders and seeing that sort of thing, you also can go to the orders page, which is gonna have a list of the dates of different orders as well as the status of it. So is it arrived, is it shipping out, so on and so forth. The way that you're able to see where these new orders are coming in from is if we go to the product inventory page, we can filter by different things like let's go for a laptop, for example, filtered, boom. Let's click on this, Microsoft Surface Laptop. We can get more details on the price, units ordered, units sold. And once again, if you wanted to add to what the product inventory was, you can go into any of the manufacturers and create the information, which then will populate on this page. And when it comes to adding this information, the manufacturers themselves can only be added by admins, but the products can be added by employees or by admins. This just has an extra layer of like not having the employees all able to add a bunch of random manufacturers, but they can still do their operational stuff day to day and get new products inputted via the manufacturer details page as showcased before with this form. You can see this pretty clearly by the difference in the top header where you can see this in the admin nav bar, but for the employee nav bar, it's just not showing up there. So we have the ability to see orders, the inventory, the manufacturers, how they all mesh together and all the little different bits of data within here. So we're in an awesome spot when it comes to this template. I love the fact that I can click into any of these different items, see what they're connected to from a manufacturer standpoint, and then in that manufacturer easily add new products if need be while also getting new information on the manufacturers i may not have known about in a simple and easy to use inventory tracking system like this in software you're going to have a great time when it comes to keeping track of all of your different inventory for your business needs i would definitely recommend that you get this template click the link down below to try it out today and also check out how you can use software in other amazing ways right here